Fish on, Tone. Oh, stonker too, mate. Fully burn yourself. That's what it's saying. I've got some gloves. Cool. Safety first. G'day friends and welcome back to Bush Rats. So we're in the shed. We've got one worm Tony on the scene and I've been shopping. Levi's been on the internet. He has become a pawn of Amazon. But while he has been doing that, he's picked up a petite bass finesse bass lure maiden kit. This is the brand. Never heard of it before. No. It was but cheap. We've been using a lot of soft plastics. And Levi's decided it's time to make our own. Yep. Um, he's picked a pretty good pack, I must say. We've got a few colours here. We've got some purples. I don't know why. What's that one called? Purple yes. Fire. It's not focusing. Let me start again. We've got purple. We've got some greens. We've got some yellows. I'm thinking this one. This is not my favourite. Pumpkin Fire. Because what's better than a pumpkin fire? We've got some ghost shad. Yeah. Um, um, comes with a few moulds. We've got three different moulds. We've got a little crawfish shape one. Levi's lucked out and bought a craw shape, which is great. We've got a paddle tail. I've also got something that I've been interested in trying that's hard to kind of get around these uh, these parts, but a worm. So like a soft plastic bass type worm. We're going to see if we can get some perch on these bad boys. So the idea is read the instructions, become full book on the DIY. We're going to make some lures and hopefully fish them today and catch some perch. We're gonna see if they work. We're gonna fuck up. You miss those microwave. We've got the Pyrex out. We've got the safeties. Yeah, we're full book, so. We've got some gloves. Safety first, as always. Hopefully, we get these done. And like I said, we're out there, we're on the water, we're DIYing it. Let's be on some plastic. Woo! Jeff Bezos. Thanks, bros. First colour I reckon we go with. Let's fuck up the blue one. We're gonna mess one up. Doesn't look like a bad colour. What's this one called? This one's called Ghost Shad. Ghost Shad. That's uh, an American word for minnow or guppy. All right, Levi's chosen the color, Ghost Shad. We're just looking at the instructions. The starting point for a 700 watt, don't know how many watts this guy's got, but it's gonna like heat it for 60 seconds, stir. Heat, heat 30 seconds, stir, heat 30 seconds. And then uh, hopefully suck it up into the Tubular. The tube thingy and then pour it into the moulds, but we're gonna... We've got the thermometer, we need 360 degrees. Is that right? About that. So we're gonna keep it safe. 350 Fahrenheit. Pop her in. I don't know what Fahrenheit is, but uh... One minute's up. It's looking like a good consistency. Oh, the balls have started melting. More like cubes, weren't they? Look at that. Huh? Hmm. All right, so 60 stir. Back in. 30, maybe stir. You know, maybe shaken, not stirred, but. Smells very plasticky, eh? Very plasticky. We're gonna have to think about using this microwave again, but we're gonna now look into the molds. We're gonna get these molds on the go. There's our fave so far. Uh, we're gonna get these molds ready, so when it's piping hot plastic time, we're good to go. We're gonna take a couple in the vise, a couple in the clamps. We're gonna do one of each at a time. 30 more seconds. Alright, number 30 down. Whew. Remember kids, don't inhale. That's what uh, Bill Clinton said. <laughs> Clinton, what do we got? We got this worm. Yeah, let's get bassin'. We're going to catch some bass, dude. That way. Yeah. Ooh, ooh she's definitely, uh, ooh, that's sticky. I don't know if 360 degrees is right. How many does it say? What does it say? Is that Fahrenheit? That's Celsius. 
The consistency is looking pretty. It's pretty good. We're talking 100 and what does that say? It's backwards on the camera. 166. Yeah, but we want a little bit hotter, we think. Thirty more. Grab another clamp. All right. Last. All right. Out of the first. microwave. We're getting ready to do our first little pour here. Lee's on the injector. Temperature. We've said goodbye to temperature. We're doing it by feel. Doing it by eye. We're doing it by feel. So we're going to get some in the injector. Is this right? Got to drag it back. Oh, that stinks. Heads back, kids. All right. Give it a little prime. Give it a little squirt back into the bowl. Hot this is. I don't trust it. Okay, so we're in. We're going to squirt a little bit back in the bowl. Good. And now we're going for it. Look out. This is hot plastic time. We're injecting. I pull it. I pull that down. Be the worm. Oh, we got a drizzle. Oh, we got a drizzle, but that's okay. There are hopefully no air bubbles. We're getting hot plastic coming out the top. And we're on. I think we're on. We're on. I'm going to put this back into there. Back into there. That can be reheated. Oh, look at that. It's already going. It's already setting. It's already setting. So we're on fire here, guys. All right, we've done our first pour. Levi's feeling kind of wacky. We're going to uh, let that dry for another five or ten. We're pretty impatient. So we've got a little bit of blue left in there, but it's not enough to do another three. So we're going to drop some black in there and see if we can make like a black to a blue. Like black a... moss. Black Levi's an artist. I don't know if you... He's on a he's on some kind of spectrum. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, Black pop them off to one side, and now we just got to wait for these molds. Probably should have got more molds. I reckon we're, this is a good starter kit. It's been about seven minutes. Ten minutes? Seven. It's been a little bit. We've had a coffee. Oh, bro, look at that! How have they come out? I can't see. Oh, we could be on here, peeps. There's a little trim up. Cut the ends off yeah, here. so uh, the instructions do mention, you know, after you've been uh, out of the mould, you want to give them a trim. It's going to have some good action. Look at that one. I think that's going to go okay. Grab another one. Let's get another one out. What do you got? Worm. I cracked it fast, but it's come out nice. Big, long, jiggly, jaggedy worm. Maybe not the colour for the worm, but we're going to run out. We're going to see if we can catch a perch on these. And the craw. Finally. I think we've done pretty well. Oh, hello. That's what we like. That's usually what we're using is a craw shape. We're going to trim these up. We're going to montage through, making a few more different colours. Then we're going to get out there and we're going to hopefully catch them. And in like the spirit of marling baits, check them out on if you're on YouTube. They make some cool baits. Uh, we're going to try and do a one day. So we're going to make these baits and then fish them today and get a perch. We'll see you after the montage. All colours. Here's one we got wrong. Mm -hmm. Nice story there, mate. Big day on the plastics. Plastic kit has turned out to be a winner, mate. What do you reckon? A couple hundred bucks, but this is what we've got. We've got a few colours. Crawdads come out pretty good. We've got a few mishap ones. Yeah, obviously you'll see the footage, bit of uh, you know, a bit of the process, a bit of how it got done. Um, but we've 
That's a claim on it. I'm happy. Paddle tail. I like them. I think the craws, the paddle tails, even hopefully the worms, will catch a fish. So they're four bass, but we call base, and we're going to get perch on these. Yep, we're going to pack up now, shoot off, and we'll see you down by the river. Yo. Let's load them up. So that's what we got. Little king chrome set. We've had them in the freezer, or the angle the whole drive down, so they're nice and crisp. Hard and up real nicely. Just cooling them off a bit. We're going to start, I think, with a craw shape each, just because that's something that we know works kind of around here. We're going to go this bluey coloured one. I'm going to go this motor oily kind of one. We'll save the rest of these. And Tone's going to show us the setup that yeah. we're using today. How are we rigging them up? Um, pretty much bush rats classic, but we're going to run them with a weedless hook. We fish some pretty snaggy, bushy rivers, so to get in there where the perch are, sometimes you've really got to take a bit of a risk. But um, having that weedless hook just helps a lot. So we're going to... Weedless hook. We're going to come through the back. And running sinker. And then down real quick. Get up there, show them how it's done, mate. Okay, so he's kind of stuck through there and then we're going to wiggle him round to the end. Get him set up up here. Ooh, still a bit warm maybe. And then we're going to punch that hook through the body. And then out the other side, through the arm if you can't. <laughs> uh, and then just tuck that hook in and away we go. See so if we can't get a fish with these uh, bush rats, DIY soft plastics. She's sitting with the hook just tucked in. And yep. they're going to go bloop, 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 bloop. Might even uh, put some, some additives on there, some flavours for the fish. The river's just over here. Let's get the GoPro on the head. And we're off. Still people. Keep an eye out for snakes, mate. First cast on the DIY lure. Deep in the snags. We got some pretty good action. The arms wiggle real nicely. <laughs> Tony's got his first snag of the day on the crawdad. He's changing up to paddle tail in blue. Yeah, and whatever random hook. Hopefully, we can find one, eh? Just We've got to get one. one. Fish. We got blue. We got. There's a lot of sinkers in there. King chrome. <laughs> you grab this. Fish on, Tone. Oh, stonker too, mate. Oh! Dropped it. Bro, that was like, there he goes. Oh! It's this poxy braid, mate. Don't buy cheap braid, kids. Bro, that was like 40 or something. Did you see it? Yeah. I've got the stupidest rig on. Not even swimming right. Oh, we're gonna have to re-rig. That was on a little uh, crawfish in a yellowy color. Fuck. Should have tied him out a bit more before trying to skull drag him up. <laughs> Although pretty tough. Just a little recap, hooked it. Oh, stonker too, mate. You saying it was Jimmy in around? I was trying to tire him out. Probably should have let him tire out. Oh, it was huge. It could have been a fifty. It might have been a fifty. Uh, you, you, I mean, to you guys, it looks like we've been fishing for about three minutes. It's been about about five minutes. It's been about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but we're cracking on hard. We want to get a fish on the land. Yeah. On these soft plastics we've made. Levi almost did it. So 
It can be done. If you see us wearing like a different hat and a different shirt. Don't even fucking pay yeah, don't any even attention. worry about it. It's not like it's the next day or anything. But it might be. Let's carry on. Let's go. Let's get one. On time. On the paddle tail. Oh, decent too. Look at that on the paddle tail. Maybe. Young Lee here with the first fish Ooh, landed. On a DIY plastic? Caught him on a little blue paddle tail. No way. Just like that. It's been a hard day out here. We're running along crawfish ones, so we might have to make a few more. But you see me hook, hook a nice big one on the crawfish, the paddle tail's working. I think we're going to get Tony onto one of the worm ones, and hopefully we can get another fillet in the bag. Tony's on here. He's down. I'm coming around. Come on, dog. Get out of there. There he is. There he is. Come around. Come around. Tony's done it. Tony's done it. He's done it. Ladies oh, and gents. It's a decent what fish. What a fucking day. This thing hasn't even got a tail on it and we've made it work. Yes. <laughs> oh, DIY plastics, baby. Yes. Back with Tony. Yes, it's been a hard day, but we've made it happen. We've both scored on the DIY soft plastics. And there you go, people. It just goes to show anyone can do this stuff. Uh, I caught call this that guy. On a tailless, one of the dodgy Tailless dodgy uh, paddle tail. But it just had that look, had that vibe. And we've got a nice, healthy looking fish there. Levi's pretty close to a 40, here's one. So just stoked to get that today. We'll get some, uh, Stoked to be out here. It has been a long day. That's a 30. 30 something anyway. That's going home to Mumbo. And let's get a couple more. Not many fish around today, but all the ones we've seen have been quite big. So, big fish day. Thread the gap. How are you finding the DIY little That's time? a better cast. Uh, it's been a tough day out here. They're probably, we probably rushed them a little bit in sense of, in the sense that we didn't cure them. You meant to leave them for like 24 hours, so they're a bit, a bit snappy and a bit falling apart and a bit soft. The crawfish one has great action. Yeah. The paddle tail not so much, but the paddle tail is doing the damage. Yeah, but I think, again, if you let it cure, if you gave it that 24 hours to real harden up, I'm sure, and if you clean the moulds a bit more often with the paddle tail, I think you'd find that they'd work ripper. Ooh. We're going to have to try the worm one still. Still yet to try the worm. It's probably more a deep water one. And I think we are going to do, try and get some more colours, make some more. They'll definitely, oh, big bites, people. Nah, just a snag. Just a snag. Nah. Fish on time. Got him? Yes. On the same lure, mate. Little uh, half size paddle tail grub. Ooh, you're on, you're on. Well done, son. Let me get his friend. Yeah, we're on that corner, mate. All there. Tones on here. Yeah, oh, way down, shit. down. Oh! Just dropped, dropped it. What'd you, what'd you hook that on, mate? On the worm. On Fuck. the worm. One of everything. Got to get him back. Got to get him back. Then we can call that a day. Fuck, it was, oh, it was all wrapped around the, oh. All wrapped around the tree. Fuck! <laughs> 
Redemption on the worm straight away. Small guy, but nonetheless, another fish on the homegrown worm. Yeah, Give Tony a worm, you'll make something happen. They call me one worm, Tony. See you guys again soon. Here we go to an ad break. So you get a quick measure on these fishes. I might have caught the biggest one. Yeah. What's that one? Just to get an idea. Hey, 30. She's a 30. 30. My biggest one running in at... Oh, 33 and a half. 33 and a half. What are you running there, mate? Tony. Bit of flipping around, I suppose. Yeah, 34. 34. 34 and a half. Funny. Ah! We probably dropped the two biggest ones. Yeah. Pop them back in the bag. Oh. Them back in the bags? Yep. There we go guys, we burnt through them all pretty pretty good. We're gonna get a few worms left and a couple paddle tails. We uh we definitely hit the hit the crawls hard. They didn't hold up that well. Hard and fast. But funnily enough, uh, we had some luck on the paddle tails and even on the little worms, we kind of cut up some half-size worms. And yeah. uh, they turned out to come good towards the end of the day. So, a well, lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, get yourself a DIY kit. Yeah, make up some... Uh, a few different brands out there to get. But yeah, you can, you know, different colours. So, I think this... All different types of sizes, shapes and smells. It was a success. You've done was, well. It was a good time. Thanks for joining us again. A couple of fillets in the bag, two each, dropped one each. Yeah, you, you'll see it on the footage. You, yeah, you would have just seen it. Yeah. But, Thanks for watching guys, uh, like and subscribe, all that sort of stuff, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you're feeling. Yeah, get out there this summer, uh, you know, maybe hit it on the end of spring, get out there, get yourself a fish, make your own plastic, have a good time. We'll see you next time. On the tracks. See you. It's been a big day. Action. Action. All right. A little chunky combo. <laughs> Pumpkin fire seed. Fantasy. Fantasy. Why is he coming down there? You want higher? I don't know. Because then you could get... We'll work it out. It has to be melted to a plasticity um, between water and syrup. Science. It's that worm, baby. It's that worm, baby. You. <laughs>